Arsenal nil. Ryan Christie, fresh off the subs bench, has scored his first Premier League goal in more than two years. It came from a well-worked Bournemouth corner taken by Lewis Cook on the near side. It was a lovely flick from Justin Clivert. He picked out his fellow sub, Ryan Christie, who just caresses the ball into the top corner from just inside the penalty area. Arsenal down to ten men and now behind in the game as well. The Gunners, who could have gone top of the Premier League table with a win here tonight, are staring down the barrel of their first defeat of the season and their first away from home in the Premier League in 2024. It's Bournemouth 1, ten-man Arsenal nil. The vitality is an unbelievable place to be right now, Jase. Bournemouth 1, Arsenal nil. They're down to 10 men. Mm -hmm. What does this have to say for the title race? Well, it's the Saliba sending off that's, that's kind of changed the game. Bournemouth, have, they've been, even before that, I thought yeah. Bournemouth were good. They were good. They, they were decent. Yeah. Arsenal haven't looked at the shiny, sparkliest best that I've seen so far. Down to 10 men. No but, Saka, no Odegaard. <clears throat> no. Struggling. Yes, they are. Um, it's been a game that, that Bournemouth... You felt might end up drop. Oh, another chance. Felt they might drop points here, Bournemouth, you know. And to have 10 men for over an hour in a game, you'd like to think that numerical advantage would take, would, would eventually show itself. They've got, it was a well worked corner. Surprisingly, Arsenal defensively, who have been excellent set pieces, allowed that the corner. It was, it was play, uh, played back towards the edge of the box. And uh, I think it was Ryan Christie just latches onto it. But this is a big game in the title race mate this is a game I felt Arsenal would win and win comfortably yeah me too uh, Arsenal fans obviously will be able to come on and have their say you've got 15 mm. minutes left of that game we will get back to Crookie if anything happens but now it's time for this O'Hara and Cundies weekend winners and losers yeah it's that part of the week well, we've got to go back to the vitality. There's been another goal, Alex Crook. Not another goal, but there is a penalty for Bournemouth. It's Bournemouth 1, 10 man Arsenal 0. David Raya has just taken out Evan Ilson here as Evan Ilson was about to round the goalkeeper and get his shot away. Robert Jones hasn't shown a card yet, but again, I wonder is this going to be deemed as a deliberate act to stop a goal scoring opportunity did David Ryan make any attempt to play the ball it came from an under hit back pass from Jakob Kivior straight to Evan Ilsen you're watching a replay guys I think David Ryan should be sent off yeah oh. he's not made any attempt to play the ball he's gone Evan Ilsen has gone round him he's not the ball that... oh he has made an attempt for the ball yeah I don't know whether he has mate the ball's nowhere there he's, try... he's anticipating a shot the shot doesn't come in he go, he, no, he's gone. No, you may be right. No, may, he's made it's an attempt for right. the ball, Crookie. A may, bit, may it's a penalty. Right. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a I don't a, think he'll be sent off. Well, he was just walking towards the halfway line there, David. Right? I've not seen a car come out yet, but he's it's going back to his line now. He's definitely booking. He's made a couple of big saves at 0 0, Raya, to try and keep the 10 men in the game. Crookie, Crookie, sorry, matey. Are they still debating what card it is because you've not been booked? I've not seen a card no. yet. No. <clears throat> that. Now, he has to show one, is he? Well, he, is, might, well, he might not book him at all. I don't it? think he's going to book him at all, actually. Yeah, he's just going to give a penalty. And he's oh, having a strong word yellow. with David Raya here, because I think he feels like he's, 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 as I say, walked to the halfway line, then he went back and had a drink of water. I think he feels like he's trying to delay this penalty being taken, Robert Jones, the referee. No card at all for David Raya. <coughs> now, can he come to Arsenal's rescue here? Justin Clivert, who made the first goal for Ryan Christie. Surely with a chance to seal an unlikely victory for Bournemouth. And he rolls it into the bottom corner. He celebrates with the Cherries fans behind the goal. And Bournemouth are on course here for a historic victory to put a big, big dent in Arsenal's early season title charge. Clivert with a second from the penalty spot. It is Bournemouth 2, 10-man Arsenal 0. No. Oh, wow. Arsenal. Well, Arsenal. Yeah. Crumbling already. It's well, not even January. Well, the injuries they've had, clearly Odegaard's a miss. Saka is a big miss, but they've not been great. They've not been great today, mate. They've that sending off obviously gives them the numerical advantage. 2-0, you would probably say from here, it's... Almost right, it's impossible for Arsenal to get back into it. And 2 0, Jay. And what do I say about that scoreline, mate? So 2 0. Yeah, but if they get to 10, Jay. You Come would on. have thought so, right? Come on. Let me tell you, if Arsenal, if Arsenal score in the next five minutes, mate, you'll be sitting there thinking. Nah, oh, I ain't, no. I ain't yeah. happening. Right, let's go to Merce. He's an Arsenal fan, right, Merce? Merce. Hello, boys. You all right? Hello, Merce. What's going on? 
Uh, now listen, listen. I phoned you up the other week. Uh, the other week when we played Leicester. Yeah. And I told you we've got a weak mentality. But now nah, you dismissed me. You turned around and said, "Oh, am I not, am, am I a Tottenham fan?" Do you remember, boys? Well, kind of briefly, but yeah, yeah I mean, you, but you can't knock, you can't knock their mentality when they've been putting in the results that they've been. And no, you know, today they've right. been poor. Yeah, it's not been. It's poor. not been great. He set up with the wrong team today as well. There was no need for to have the three players in midfield that he had. I'm not being funny. This, this fellow ain't got a clue. I don't care what people say about me. Who this fellow ain't got a clue? Who? I'll set up. That's what you're going on about. You got a clue. No, 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 no. They won't win the league. They won't win the league. They or us. Oh, well, you're yeah, sure you're not a Spurs fan, Moss? Do you show any colours again, Moss? Yeah, see, Moss. See, you're letting yeah, yourself you, down, it's we, it's we and us, and it's they and them. No, I say, you know what I say, they? Because it's yeah. not my Arsenal. My but, Arsenal is Arsenal from Ivory. My, I'm 52. My Arsenal is the best in the day. This lot ain't got a clue. Well, look, it's been a bad day, I, I have to say, for more reasons than one. You're going to be without Saliba when you play Liverpool next weekend yeah. as well, which is... That's right. You know, yeah. and if Liverpool beat my mob tomorrow and then going to beat your yeah. mob next weekend, it's, you know, let's well, yeah. that, put daylight, like, real daylight between you and them. All day long. And I fancy Man City to smack Wolves tomorrow. Of course. Yeah, of course. Well, yeah. you'd expect it. Well, Unless yeah, something like this happens, you know, where you get a man sent off and you come under it, you know. But yeah, this has been I, I a mean, poor, but, yeah, poor but, performance yeah, yeah. from Arsenal. It's a bad performance. He's in the kickoff, you know what I mean? Without getting the man sent off, we didn't have a shot on target. It's yeah. just, I don't know, I just, I just still blame the fella that he doesn't set up the team right sometimes. He's to play the three on the well, look, you know, you're always going to crumble, Arsenal. It's just a matter of when, oh. you know? Normally it's February or March, but it's, it seems a bit early this season. It's not even Halloween. Ah, uh, come on, Jamie. Just because you won the, old, the, 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 won the derby today, you know what I mean? <laughs> Mas, like, listen, I mate. Chaps, I, just, I just want you to get me a point across. I'm going to say against the left side. You're not at a problem with me, but come on. Right, well, I think it's a bit harsh, but I, I hear you. It's been a bad result for them today. It looks like they're going to be losing 2-0. Yeah. Um, Arsenal fans can obviously get involved and start phoning us up now. Why not? Rory Jennings will be on at half seven. Mm-hmm. Another 50 minutes of me and Cundy. You want to have your say? Give us a call, 03 717 20 seconds of five added minutes to play. It's still Bournemouth 2, 10 man, Arsenal 0. A chastening night on the south coast for the Gunners. Their longest unbeaten run away from home in eight years is about to come crashing down here. They've also passed up the opportunity to go top of the Premier League table. And it could get worse here as Justin Kleibert threatened to go bearing down on goal. Arsenal defend that one, but the full-time whistle is blown. Victory for Bournemouth manager Andoni Iriola over his childhood pal Mikel Arteta. With friends like him, who needs enemies? Arsenal reduced to 10 men with only half an hour gone. William Saliba hauling down Evan Nilsson as he was about to set free on goal. It was a yellow card initially given by Rob Jones, the referee. He was advised to go and take a long look at the monitor and upgraded that to red. Arsenal was second best, even with 11 men. Bournemouth simply took control in the second half. They broke the deadlock with 20 minutes remaining from a corner routine straight off the training ground. Lewis Cook playing the ball in from the left-hand side. It was flicked around the corner by Justin Kleibert and there was Ryan Christie lurking on the edge of the penalty area to thump the ball home for his first Premier League goal in two years. It got worse for Arsenal nine minutes later. Uh, when they were awarded a penalty, Evan Nilsson racing onto a poor back pass from Jakob Kivior. The goalkeeper, David Raya, brought Evan Nilsson down, and it was Justin Kleiber who stepped up and converted the spot kick, rolling it into the bottom left hand corner. A first Premier League defeat of the season for Arsenal, a first victory for Bournemouth in 15 attempts over one of last season's top six. And of course, that dismissal for Saliba means he will also miss next weekend's crunch game at home to potential title rivals Liverpool. All in all, it's been a nightmare night for Arteta. It finishes Bournemouth 2, 10-man Arsenal nil. Massive result for Bournemouth, but an absolute disaster yes. class from Arsenal yeah. today. They were terrible. They Jace. weren't great, mate. Even though they went down to 10 men, I, I was disappointed in Arsenal. F- credit to Bournemouth, by the way, because we often sometimes un- underestimate what the opposition do when a big side loses. They deserve that today, Bournemouth. Yeah. And, you know, I know going down to 10 men, the game changes, but 
I felt that they were the better side even up to that point, Bournemouth. So well done them. Yeah, blowing the title race wide open. That's a bad result, bad performance. And of course, even more damaging, Saliba will not be able to play as Crooked just pointed out against Liverpool next weekend. Yeah, so no Odegaard, no Saliba, Saka injured. Saka's still he, yeah, fit for next weekend. They're going to need next all weekend. All sorts mate. of problems, yep. though, aren't they? The injuries and that. Yes. Odegaard injuries, I think it's really derailed them. Without, well. <laughs> Arguably the most consistent player last two or three seasons. Yeah, it's been it's a big it's problem. A, it's a bad result for them. Well done, Bournemouth. Yeah, it really is. Um, right, that's it from us. Uh, me and Cundy are going to be back on the sports bar uh, from 10 pm on Monday. Gunnosaurus is oh, definitely God, getting it. Get, as anyone seen. Anyone seen is going to be a belter on Monday night. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.